Take a bath. <laughs> um. Very well. Yes, master. <laughs> How did you get here? What is it, Riven? Nice to meet you. My name is Ambriel. Uh... I will show you the way. Follow me, please. I thought I'd come over and say hello. What is Riven? Unconcealed drow tend to say that in human lands. Hello yourself, Jalok. Drow, fabled underground elf. My mother very often. Do you know she much about Skyrim? Yes, I suppose. And no, I do not. It's about time someone told me about Skyrim. Uh, I could tell you more about Skyrim. <laughs> we'll see how long you survive. Hopefully, longer than others. Ah, <laughs> uh, that feels good. Uh, My legs I'll do whatever I can to help you. I find this a most satisfactory arrangement. Okay. Um. Can you hear? Can you hear thunder? You better run. You better take over. Very well. Do you see something you desire? Please avoid any fights. Follow me. I need your help. Very well. We will see how long you survive. What right. is that stench? Is that you or is something rotting? Take a bath. In what skimpy outfit will you have me wear this time? Hmm. Have I ever told you how I survived when I first came to the surface? Uh, no. When among humans, I remained hooded, and it was only a matter of time and materials before I could have my own homestead away from prying eyes. I had a neighbor. Over time, we formed an awkward friendship. He did not ask why I wore my hood, and I slowly began to trust him. I revealed myself one afternoon. He said nothing about it, but invited me over that night. When I arrived, someone hit me over the head from behind. I woke to searing pain. They had defiled me and buried me alive. A mistake not to kill me. Pain is a handmaiden to my people, and these tortures were amateurish. What happened next? I naturally took my revenge. I waited until night and they were drunk. I trapped his son in their outhouse and set it aflame. When the father came to help him, I garroted him from behind and forced him on his knees. As we watched the outhouse burn, I whispered to him, You should have finished it like I will now. That is the way of the drow. The way of the drow, okay. Hello, Viconia. I wish to apologize for attempting to unburden myself upon you before. I was foolish to be so weak in Faron, and worse yet to speak to you about it. Um... It's brave to reveal something like that, though. Understand, I've had nothing but ill encounters with surfacers since I fled the Underdark. Their constant spite burns within my soul. Ah, you don't seem so terrible. You would think me terrible enough, Abel, if you knew more about me. I'm drow. Make no mistake about that. The hell? It was most unusual. One moment I was in Faerun, and the next I was here, stripped of my gear and other possessions. Faerun, Kajitlan? Faerun. It's on another plane of existence. A fable in your Tamriel now. It's actually much like Tamriel now that I think about it. Interesting. But our dwarves are still around. They were much hardier, no? Uh... <laughs> So it's about the same, except you were 
now randomly naked in a strange town? Angelic, please. I've got nothing to hide. No situation on the surface can compare to the brutality of the Underdark. Blame the gods for that bug. Now let's move on. Okay. Right. I've been watching you for a time as we travel. You have a pleasing look about you, <laughs> I think. The sort of musculature that makes a woman swoon. Really? And what do you think of Vaconia, hmm? Does my ebony glow spur lustful thoughts? <laughs> Does my sharp beauty give you singular twinges of desire? Ah, uh, oh, you're the most exotic woman I know. That is good to know. Not that I would deign to lie with a dog such as you, <laughs> lowly male. Now turn your eyes. My skin crawls from your attentions. Okay. <laughs> This is what you do all day? Walking around, randomly doing other people's errands? It sure is. Um... Yeah. I suppose you're on to something. Um... I welcome the company. It makes traveling better. Well, I suppose I feel the same. I'm Drow. We in the Underdark must deal harshness, or otherwise receive it. Ah, uh, you don't have to keep your guard up around me. Relax. I admire people with standards. It's always nice to see. Who lead? I'll follow. I've been thinking a little. I've been thinking of the time I've spent with the Riven. The humans. And I found nothing redeeming or worthwhile. <laughs> okay. Don't judge it all by the actions of a few. What do you mean by that? Top side is not all the same. Really? I have yet to find one that hasn't intended to harm me. Except you, of course. Perhaps this world will be different from Baron. There I was often attacked on sight or manipulated by those who pretended friendship. People are clearly not like that here. Not all of them. It's unusual. Well, moving on. Um. I notice you staring. Take your leering eyes and turn them elsewhere, plainsman. Uh, you're distracting. Yes, it is, isn't it? <laughs> Come embraces the, sky. the stink of the collective riven. How I despise them all. I bathe sometimes, occasionally, maybe never. It's not you exactly, but the occasional city stench, the smell of the very wind itself, and the sunlight to boot. Sometimes it is overwhelming. Well, I'm glad you endure for me. Oh, get away from me. <laughs> okay. Just caught up. Hey. Wait. Something wrong? I ache from my constant exertions on your behalf. Rub my back, shoulders, and feet, or I shall not take another step. <laughs> All right now. Do it. I'm spend more time smashing heads. Okay. Last time drinking. <sighs> that felt marvelous. You like that? Mwah. I should give you one sometime. Just don't do it while we're in a dungeon. 
I'll give you one whenever I want, and you <laughs> will like it. <laughs> okay. I've acted poorly towards you. I... I wish to apologize. After what you've been through, I accept. <laughs> Good. You are the only surfacer who has treated me fairly, and not demanded something in return. I appreciate that. You do not yet understand what it means to be drow, but you will. Okay. Hmm. So, it must take a very driven person to lead their life always on the road. Yeah, that's the type of person I am. Yes, I have noticed the type of person you are. Intense. Determined. Strong. All the qualities that I have grown to like most in Calm Luth exist in you. Calm Luth? Outsider? True, for the most part. But I look upon you and I see great drive and determination. This is something upworld folk do not possess. <laughs> oh, stop it, you softy. It is unfortunate that good traits of most Conbluth are held in pale lives no longer than a firefly. Here and there they flicker, then death. Surface dwellers can be so stupid. <laughs> it's always the same thing. Fools discussing mud crabs, what happened to the king, and beggars wanting money. Not to mention the coward guards hiding behind the arrow to the knee excuse. Ah, uh, alright, I'm listening. Their lives are so static and simple. They never strive to be better to make their lives better. It sickens me. That is unfortunate. Yes, I'm not used to so much chaos. The Underdark was awful, surely. But at least there was a sense of purpose most of the time. Okay. Farewell. Okay. Tower. When a resource Have I ever told life. you how I survived when I first fled to the surface? I don't think so. It was difficult, as you can imagine. I knew only a few words of common, and I traveled carefully. Each day, I huddled under the strange open sky. Loth had abandoned me, and I was alone in a strange world. I was hunted for a time by the Darthir, the surface elves. Must have been horrible. A group of golem, you call them goblins, tried to seal my fate, but a human merchant came and his guards scattered them. From a distance, he thought me Darthir. Surprisingly, when he found I was a drow, he offered me shelter. I learned the human tongue. When I was a child, I Sounds too good to be true. To Indeed. He was a Kalimshite, and they are fond of slaves. The price for my safety was the favors I bestowed. Erotic arts honed for an eon. <coughs> Um, that bastard. Actually, I enjoyed it. He was my pawn until his heart gave way and I was chased out by his guards <laughs> thinking it murder. Do not look at me in such a manner. Do you wilt from the thought of it all? <sighs> a little bit. Good. I am pleased you have some sense. Or is it that you wish to partake of the same pleasures? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, um... Tell me, has there ever been anyone special to you? A thief of your heart? Markarth. Or there's ore, you'll find Uh, maybe a drow lady who seems awfully charming lately? Mm. indeed. 
course you do. Does my exotic form not stir your loins? Hmm? <laughs> I see it in your eyes. <laughs> Come. Let's get going. Redguard craftsmanship in every piece. What drew such a handsome, powerful, and charismatic individual like yourself to the dreary, hectic life of adventuring? <laughs> I seem to be really good at spotting injustice, and I like setting things right. Your story is quite interesting. You're very compelling for Riven. I will tell you more of my adventures in the Underdark soon enough, but for now, your story has satisfied me. I do admit I'd like to hear more. All in due time, Jaluk. For now, I need to trust you and see if you live long enough to deserve the tale. Okay. These surface females and the foolish mind games they play to ensnare common, simple men. I know what you mean. They would know nothing of how to handle you. Whereas I... <laughs> hey, you mean like you did a while ago? Oh, shut up. Okay. The drow are never this idle with their time. Do not stand so close to me. It is bad enough that I have to smell your stench on the occasional breeze. Must I also bask in your rancid aura? What's wrong with you? I am fighting my... Oh, never mind. You wouldn't understand. Leave me be. You do not understand, Riven. Where I come from, if a male so much as raised their voice to a female, they would be sacrificed. It's a bit harsh. You do not understand how far I've come, but you will. You will. Okay. These layabouts, these homeless people we see in every city, my people would come at night and take them. They would be sacrificed to Lolf, to stern her wrath, or perhaps curry favor to our house. That's cruel. They were easy targets, but getting in the city was more difficult. The occasional unseasoned adventurer was far easier, but a chance encounter at best. What did I get myself into? You will learn what it is to be drow. You have unwillingly chosen this path. Tread it carefully. I've been thinking. I think I've been exceedingly harsh on you, <laughs> once again. Really? You won't drive me away. How noble, and how foolish. You do not know what my kind are capable of. Not yet. Be careful what you wish for. Okay. <clears throat> um. Oh, wait. You okay? <laughs> magnificent. What the hell? Truly magnificent. Me? Is that is that what you're referring to? Mm, yes. Where I come from, the males are weak and scrawny. The <laughs> ones that aren't are belligerent and gruff. I don't know what to say. But you, you on the other hand. Oh, 
my. I've said enough. You make me weak sometimes. <laughs> I should know better. Yeah, maybe me too. Right. What was life like before you were an adventurer? Didn't it seem simpler? Less complicated? What do you mean? There were fewer entanglements, less chaos. We weren't always exploring some dark ruined place. <laughs> well, doing these things makes me appreciate a fireplace, an ale, and a woman on my lap. You think such excitement will grip your senses forever? Is there no longing for true peace within you? What are you trying to say? I'm just curious. It would be nice, wouldn't it? To settle down somewhere, someday? Sounds cozy. Maybe, someday, Viconia. <laughs> that is an offer worth considering. I appreciate your words of friendship. It is not words I am familiar with. Okay. Hmm. I am wondering this. Do you ever entertain the notion of marriage? Of course I do. I mean, a union witnessed by sacrament and ritual. To commit to one person in all manner. It seems tantamount to slavery. <laughs> That's a splendid union. Drow culture allows for husbands to be disposed of and replaced. Drow women kill their husbands? If they deserve it. Placing demands on the woman is not done. To voice protest about the wishes of the matriarch is punishable by execution. The drow are a matriarchal society. The women rule. And the men are subservient to them. Now you see why I'm having such a difficult time adjusting. This is merely one reason among many. <laughs> um... Well, here men don't kill their wives. <laughs> <laughs> right, there she is. Have I ever told you how it is that I came to flee from the Underdark? I had worshipped the Spider Queen for a hundred and fifty years. But there came a time when my faith in Loth was no more. How'd that hurt? I lapsed when a baby was to be sacrificed. I lost my will that day. The baby, that's horrible. One of the lesser priestesses noticed my hesitation, and she took the babe's life herself, eager to usurp my place in Loth's favor. My house fell into disfavor with Loth as a result. Word spread throughout the city. My mother scrambled to make sacrifices, but it was useless. The weak became prey to the faithful. A lesser house jumped and began a war with ours. My mother wished me to recant. And you refused. Yes. I was disgusted with my queen. So I cursed my mother and endangered my house. I thought that I would survive after my actions. Well, obviously you did. The memory of the events fills my heart with bile. I cannot continue. Perhaps another time. Okay. Idleness is the holiday of fools. I am ready to continue my tale, if you're you are. ready to hear it. Certainly. I had told you of my mother. She was desperate to restore lost goodwill to House Devere, and I was proving uncooperative. She commanded that I be offered as a sacrifice to appease the Spider Queen. Your own mother. As I told you before, that's the way of the drow. We are a fierce race, and only the strong survive, a bill. I was surrounded by male soldiers who attempted to cart me off to the temple. I hated my mother, but I knew she did the right thing. I fought grandly, 
killing many of the males. But it was futile. I was overtaken, dragged to the temple, and put on the altar for the priestesses to take my life. I would have died if not for my brother. Poor Vallis. He saved you? Yes, he saved me. I am sorry. I do not wish to continue discussing Vallis. Excuse me. <laughs> What's so funny? A ball rolled to my boot back in Whiterun. A little boy ran up to me and asked if he could have it back. He thanked me for finding it and said I was a pretty lady. And I can be nice sometimes. I can change. Then it made me think of how precious life really is. How innocent they are. I am glad Loeth is finally dead. Perhaps the drow can change. Anyway, it just made me smile thinking of it. Let's move on. Try and kill these machines from afar. They can explode upon death. Tell me something. Did you have much of a family? Not really. I still do not understand the relationships. The closeness that the families of the surface keep with each other. In the Underdark, things are different. What was yours like? Much the same as other drow families. Children are raised by the priestesses or the matrons. There is no affection, loyalty. All exist to serve Loth. What about fathers? Fathers do not exist as you know it. The males service the matron of the house when she wishes to conceive, or when she desires it. Drow males are educated in all forms of erotic pleasure. They exist to please women, to live or die at their whim. There are normally no brothers, but some males are favored more than others. Most simply exist to serve queen and house, but this is not always so. My brother Vallis was an exception to the standard drow male. He was my childhood friend, and my only friend. As an adult, he was a useful male wizard. I ensured the worst of abuses that befell males did not strike him. In the end, he saved my life. He prevented my sacrifice and killed our mother. Yeah, what happened to him? I am cold and tired and no longer in the mood to speak. Excuse me. If you would, if you would please sit with me for a moment before you retire, I would be thankful. I find myself uncharacteristically overcome. Okay. Come to me, my Miranda sins. <laughs> okay. Is that it? I don't know why there's this delay. Don't know whether she's got more to say or that was the end of it. Sure, this is wise. Hush, my Miranda sins. Destiny awaits. Well, I see that you are finally awake. I hope that your pathetic exertions of last night brought at least one of us some measure of pleasure. <laughs> I seem to enjoy it the other moment. <sighs> Do not attempt to look into my mind and render judgment, imbecile. You haven't the strength or the knowledge. Just leave me be. Your reward. I can always count on you, can't I? I've been thinking, and each moment I do, my stomach has churned with vileness. Your very presence makes me <laughs> ill. You opened up. This is predictable. <laughs> I 
Okay. Well? I should kill you where you stand, yet I cannot. <laughs> you, enough. Get away from me. All right. Very well. Be careful. I bite. I've been thinking, and I think I may have been exceedingly harsh in my treatment of you once again. You don't think so? Understand that I have not been on the surface long. I forget that things are different here, and it is taking me time to get used to it. Any other drow female would have killed you by now. <laughs> do you understand? I think I do, yes. Be patient with me. That is all I can ask of you. Thank you for staying. Okay. I have a confession to make to you. Give me your ears for a moment and listen. If you possess the sense. <laughs> okay, I'm idea. listening. You wish to know me? I shall tell you the truth of it then. The I have lied so to you. My tale of the farmer. I laid with him many times to get what I needed. It was his wife and townsfolk that drove me out. Like a succubus, I have whored my way taking what favors I could gather. What do you think of that? I think you're lying. Why are you not disgusted by this? Turn away from me. Spit on me and curse my name. Uh, I don't think so. Bastard. <laughs> Stubborn bastard. Why must I trust you? Leave me alone. Okay. I... I cast my white flag before you. I can struggle no more. You have... When you have defeated me. Freeze, you don't even feel the branches under your feet. It's what do like you mean? Really you have defeated me. I do not know what it is about you, but I opened up to you. I let you inside with honesty and candor. I am not used to it. You can trust me. Trust is death. I have been betrayed again and again. And yet, I began to trust you. I was confused. I tried to drive you away. Now you can trust me, I'll not hurt you. Those things I said when we last spoke were lies. I told you the truth the first time. I owe you so much. You are a safe harbor in a wild storm. I begin to feel that I need you. And this enthralls and enrages me all at once. If you will have me. I will not push you away again. <laughs> I'm glad. Come here, you need a hug. Let us be together in earnest. Let me savor the unfamiliar fear that goes with this trust. Come to me then, my Miranda sins. Come taste your victory. <laughs> Five minutes later. Uh, okay. A good morning to you, or at least as close a morning as we come with these strange hours that we keep. Yeah. I trust your exertions were worthwhile. <laughs> Definitely. I found it so as well. You have a charming enthusiasm, which bodes well for such evening pastimes, I think. Far more pleasing than simple lust. I am lucky to have found you. You are not so terrible for a male. If my sister saw me melting before a male, they would flay me bare. Okay, good to know. Do your people have any kind of rite of passage into adulthood? I'm curious. Nothing formal, really. The drow have a formal ritual. It does vary place to place. The blooding must be performed by both sexes upon reaching the age of maturity. Uh. The young must hunt down and kill an intelligent surfacer, preferably of the adventurous claw. My house insisted on the head of a holy warrior, so I brought my matron the head of one Kilgan Siganduba, a priest of some cult and frontiersman. He thought me a beggar seeking guidance. 
He was surprised when he learned I was drow. I used his own holy mace to cave in his forehead. It gained me respect in a society ruled by cruelty and ambition. I'd lain with the male long before, many times in fact. An act that pleased Loth. Pleasing the Spider Queen was our ethos and our mantra, girding ourselves to conquer the other races. And Dark sounds like a harsh place indeed. As do the Deergar, the Quotau, even the Illithids. But our feet are clay. We distrust each other more than any other races. It is both our strength and our weakness. Okay. Please disregard the things I said to you when we first met. You are not drow, and not worthy of such insults. It's okay, I understand. I was fighting my past. It is not easy to balance this with the world I came from. I am still very much drow. I know that. You would think after so many years spent in this world, that I would be more trusting. But I am not. I put my husband through the same thing. I did not trust him either, but he stood by me, and eventually I trusted him. Many have tried, many have failed. Okay, husband, eh? 